Welcome back to the ZBrush um, tutorial. Now this, in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you um, what happens in ZBrush with the geometry that you export from Maya as far as uh, thinking about your geometry. Now I've just created a simple um, object here and in that object the top one um, is exactly the same as the bottom ring here, except the bottom ring I've inserted extra edge loops around the corner. Now the reason I've done that is because within ZBrush it will actually look um, at the geometry and if it has certain a bit more information in there, um, like these edge loop rings, it will actually harden them when you um, actually divide the mesh up because we do our subdivisions within ZBrush. So you can see I've just put some more edge loops in there, um, simple, I've just gone in and um, just put, inserted, use the edge loop, loop ring and just inserted um, edge loops around like this to give me extra geometry in there. Now all I've done then is I've selected the object and I've exported selection out to my folder which I've called loop test obj and I've exported it as an obj file if you haven't got the option of obj it's probably because in Windows your settings and preference down to plugin manager um, you haven't got the obj export mml turned on so make sure they're turned on and then close that and you'll better export as an obj right okay now in ZBrush we've uh, imported it in there so go to import and then import that in there and then click and open it up in here now I'm not going to get into importing and how we get the objects in now just this is just purely to show you how how it's working now this is the same file to the top I haven't actually polygoned it so it's gone a bit weird but we're not interested in that we're interested in the top ring and the bottom ring remember the bottom ring has got extra edge loops and the top ring hasn't now if we now go to our tools and open up the geometry here and we go to divide this mesh will start dividing up but watch it because it will smooth as we divide so I'm going to click one division and already you can see but down here it still kept it quite nice and sharp and that is because of my edge loops or the extra geometry that was added in Maya now this is very important when you're creating any objects and you want them to become nice and hard around the edge and you're going to take them into ZBrush for dividing um, creating lovely textures and normal maps and then you're going to re um, take them take the divisions back down to one um, you don't want your shapes going all over the place especially if you keep dividing if you keep dividing these things up all the time you'll see it will get more and more smooth and you might not want that so be very careful of that. So this is a quick tutorial just to show you about edge loops and how they can be, how they are uh, translated and the visual element of them within ZBrush.